done. Is that you? Now there's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. I knew I'd see you again someday. That you'd had an operation and were alive somewhere. Listen, Dad. I need to... I... hear a voice. No. Uh. It's Eleanor's. I can hear her. She's begging me... not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I didn't hunt you down. I know I messed up. I'm not asking you to forgive me. But what are you doing in a place like this? Killing folk who ain't even involved. Why? Why? What difference does it make? You think having a reason will fix everything? If the people of Corel could hear all of Shinra's excuses, do you think they'd give a damn? I don't need a reason. All we ever get is bullets and bullshit. What's left is a world of despair and emptiness. And that's all. <sighs> You still want to know why. All right. I'll tell you why. Because I want to destroy everything. This place. Everyone in it. The whole damn world. I got nothing left here. Corel, Eleanor, Marlene. Dan, Marlene. Marlene's alive. Huh? That day, I headed back to the village. I figured it was the end of the line and I just needed to accept it. All I wanted to do was spend my last moments with Myrna. That's when I found her. Your, your daughter, Marlene. <clears throat> She's in Midgar. Let's go see her, yeah? So, she still alive? All right, Barrett. I guess we gotta fight. What? Eleanor is all sad and lonely. I gotta take Marlene to her. Dad, are you crazy? Marlene wants to see her mom, don't she? Stop! Dad! I can't die here! Oh, yeah? Well, my life ended that day. Stop it! I don't want to fight you! Barrett! Cloud, you see the hell out of it! This is my problem! Get back! It wasn't just an arm I lost back then. I lost something irreplaceable. Where did it all go so wrong? Dan, I don't either, man. Is... is this the only way we can sort things? I told you. I want to destroy everything, everything, this crazy world, even me. Then what about Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, Barrett. How old was Marlene back then? Even, even if I did go see her. She wouldn't understand. 
and more than that, Barrett, these hands, they're too stained to hold her again. <sighs> Bear it. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was her mother's. My memento of her. <laughs> I will. So. Marlene's already four. Bear it. Don't you ever make her cry. Dine? Dine! 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 I ain't no different, man. My hands... They're just disdained. You want something? We want to go up. Like I told you before, you gotta give the boss his blessing. Then we need to talk about it. Don can't talk right now. So I got this instead. Oh. We want to go up. Uh, right, right. Did you kill time? Uh, you must have. Or you'd never be holding nothing. So, oh, time's dead. Maybe now this place will get some peace and quiet. And uh, no one will miss the guy, that's for sure. The hell do you know, huh? Right, 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 right. I mean, I don't know nothing, you know, I'm mean, uh, sorry. Will you get us out of here now? Huh? Haven't you forgotten something? I already told you. There's only one way out of here. You gotta win at the Chocobo races. Held up there, at the Gold Saucer. Only one racer can go up at a time. See what? Oh, you can badger me all you like. Rules are rules. I cannot change it. If I do, the whole system down here will collapse. I won't let that happen. One of you can go up. After that, it's up to them to sort things out with deal. <clears throat> Alright. Cloud, you go. We'll be waiting down here. Hurry up and win that chocobo race. Get us out of here. He's right, Cloud. We'll wait here. I know we can count on you. You... you ready? All you need now is a manager. They'll register you and supply the chocobo. Hi. I heard about your story. Esther. I'll be your manager. Well, I'm okay with that, but... This is Esther. She may look a bit funny, but there's no better manager at the races. How rude. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to meet you, Cloud. Alright then. Go to the elevator by the pillar. Esther will fill you in on the details. I see. So that's what happened. I'll have a word with Dio. You concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, that's right. What I wanted to say earlier was that anyone can be a jockey. This isn't just a race for criminals. Some compete for fame, others for fortune. And then others live for the race itself. And then there are people like you. Oh, yeah. I need to teach you how to ride a jump bow. So, first, you select to switch between auto and manual. You choose between controlling it yourself or letting it run on its own. It's actually quite hard to make a chocobo do what you want. If you're not bonded with it, it won't listen to a word you say. It can't be helped this time, unfortunately. Well, never mind. Most of the chocobos I train are quite mellow. 
tracks are usually fine. When you're in control, you switch to speed up and cancel to slow down. But watch out, if you push a chocobo faster than it can handle, it'll lose its stamina in no time. You can guide the chocobo with left and right. Make it sprint, use the whip by press and confirm. Obviously, its stamina will run out a lot faster this way. A chocobo with a poor temperament doesn't know its own pace and can wear itself out almost immediately. If you're dealing with a chocobo like that, switch to manual and slow it down. Finally, some advice for the rest of us. Once first and second place have been decided, you can press start to end the race. A newbie, huh? Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther. Looking pretty as usual. <laughs> Thanks. Let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe, one of our top chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. But if you're with Esther, that means... That's right. He might be the next big jockey. He made it up here in just one day. What? I see. What did you do, Jen, the... Sorry. We're not supposed to inquire about the past here. Anyway, it's very interesting. I have a feeling we'll meet again. Until next time, Club. Okay. I'll go sort out the chocobo. You wait here a moment. Thanks for waiting. I registered you in the next race. I prepared this chocobo myself. It should perform quite well. Do you remember how to ride? Yeah, I got it. Good luck. Congratulations. You're a free man. Oh yeah. The manager told me to give you this letter if you want. If you're reading this letter, boy, then you must have won. I know you've earned it. Esther told me about dying. Now that you've won, I can pardon you and your friends. I also have a little gift for you by way of an apology. I hope you'll find it useful on your journey. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person, but I'm a very, very busy man. Yours sincerely, Uncle Dio. Gift. Hey, Cloud! You're not going to believe this! The manager's assistant just stopped by and dropped off a buggy. Now we can cross over deserts and rivers no problem. We'll be waiting outside. See you soon! Hmm? There's more. P.S. I met Sephiroth the other day. He has a lot of fans, your rager, or so I've heard. Why don't you go get his autograph? Apparently he's heading for Gongaga, south of the river. Sephiroth. I guess this is goodbye. Listen, if you ever get your own chocobo, please come back and see me. I'll take care of the registration and everything. Hope we'll meet again. <laughs>